Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to another vlog. We are heading to campus right now. It is 8.30. I have work today. This is my first day back to work in like two weeks. So I'm excited, Speedo. <laughs> I'm excited to go back to work. My boss just messaged me this morning and said that I have a lot of transactions and receipts to take care of. Um, afterwards, we're gonna go to our school campus gym and work out because you know i've been on that workout and gym grind mondays are like literally my favorite workout days because those are the two workouts i love to target um we're heading to campus right now so i'll see you guys whenever we get there just finished with work um we're kind of hungry right now because we didn't eat breakfast at all so we're going to go see what places are open right now and then head on over to the gym never had a second thought i was blinded by my love i couldn't see a single flaw but then it came through had to try to see a different view had to take a look at something new but that was hard to do i was only interested in you i was paralyzed by love i couldn't move back from the gym and if I am going to be honest I do not feel too good I'm not really sure if it's because of what I ate at tropical smoothie but the weird thing is that around this time it's 12 30 right now around this time to like 2 p.m is when I have the worst migraine and I just realized it after covid as you guys know i looked up the symptoms like the long-term symptoms and headaches and migraines is part of it and it's honestly so terrible because during this time i just want to go to sleep and like take a tylenol and take a nap because it makes me feel better it's horrible you guys but um, i'm going to make me a protein shake this is in the flavor fruity pebble i mean even now i can't even taste anything so it don't really matter <laughs> it's like pretty sad like i feel like i'm going to get depressed very soon because i can't even taste anything and every time jeffrey like asks me what i want to eat i'm just like anything is fine with me because it's not like i can taste anyways like i can taste but like the flavor is just not as bold as it used to be like i think the other day we had pho from our favorite pho restaurant and i couldn't even taste the broth like it did not taste the same obviously to me all i taste was salty water if you guys had covid in the past like let me know some of like the symptoms that has like stuck with you because i need to know like everyone's different like um i know some people don't get their smell or taste back um i know people have neural damage like they have trouble swallowing and trouble speaking sometimes but i'm going to drink this take a shower and just kind of get ready for the day I just woke up from a three hour nap. Like I told you guys earlier, I had a huge headache and I woke up feeling so much better. Yeah, I am craving for 
some ramen right now. So I think I'm going to make me that. Also, let me show you guys our favorite noodle dish. So Jeffrey and I, we love, 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 love Jin Ramen. It kind of tastes like Shin Ramen, but better. Um, it's just not as spicy because Shin Ramen is just spicy, you know? But Jin Ramen has like a mushroom flavor, I think. Or that's what I think. But um, yeah, it just tastes so good. So I think I'm going to eat the kimbap later on tonight because I feel like I'm going to be up all night. I'm more of like a night owl than a morning person. But anyways, I picked up two of these bibimbap vegetables. Basically, you just have to add in rice. For now, we love the radish kimchi from H Mart and also their seasoned bean sprouts. Day. I was just not in a good headspace yesterday. I took a nap, like a three hour nap, and then it was kind of too late to film. So I just kind of pushed the vlog to the next day. But, anyways, I have my artist workbook with me. This is from Shop Lavender. Excuse me. The beginning of January, I don't know if you guys remember, in my monthly reset routine, I did put in some goals right here. Um, on the next page, they have like a January review, and you can kind of like write in your January highlights and then the reflections for it. And then for the next month, I'm going to also write my goals for February because I forgot to do that in my monthly reset routine for February so that is just what I'm going to do I am going to do a quick January reflection and review so if you guys want to know like how the page works so basically the first sentence is January in one word is I put emotional because it really was emotional. And then this month, I took steps to get closer to my goals and dream life. On a scale of 1 to 10, I I put in 6 because I feel like I couldn't really do much this month, this past month. But um, I did reach some of the biggest milestones that I never thought that I would reach before. And that was 100k on YouTube and 10k followers on instagram which is insane write a few of your january highlights so i put the 100k subscribers 10k followers i worked out consistently about like five times a week except the week and a half that i was out for covid and then we celebrated my grandma's 88th birthday and then some of the reflections for um the shop lavender book is what did i learn this month so what i learned this month is that you can be followed by creepy guys anytime anywhere so it is just best to be careful super observant and also to like 
bring pepper spray or any kind of weapons with you so that's what i learned this month and then what am i proud of i am proud of overcoming covid being healthy and having over 100k plus friends on social media and then the next one is how can i improve me moving forward so i just kind of like bs this section because i feel like i am doing good just in general but i just put maybe to give myself more more self-care time and take my time on things and to stop overthinking stuff for my february goals i put to set better financial goals and then i want to continue moving my body read three plus books this month and um this is a new one jump roping three times a week which I freaking suck at jump roping. I was inspired by Jenna on here because I always see your jump rope on Instagram and you guys like I legit cannot jump rope for like a minute straight. I need to just build up my endurance for jump roping because I freaking hate cardio. That is like my motto you guys like I freaking hate cardio but I want to maybe include it more and maybe substitute walking on the treadmill for jump roping instead. And then my mini goals are just my social media goals like for YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. But yeah, I'm going to go and fold some laundry. Oh my gosh, so much laundry. I have a lot of laundry to do but... Uh, I might as well just sit here and chat with you guys because I do want to talk about YouTube and how I think my channel has been doing. And the reason why I want to talk about this was because there was this other content creator who reached out to me about like um, a few weeks ago whenever I did hit 100k on YouTube and she basically just asked me if i wanted to do like an interview because she's like very inspired by my growth and she wants me to talk about it and to be honest you guys i'm i've never been anyone who liked to put myself out there like especially for podcasts and stuff so like shy i'm very introverted you guys and i just feel like i never like had a good background story like how other people came upon and i've always felt like that was my biggest insecurity i just feel like i never really like showed out Ugh, the content creator that did ask me if i wanted to be featured in her podcast i eventually denied it because i just feel like i wasn't really good enough to be featured in their podcast but that's just what has been on my mind i just feel kind of like embarrassed to uh talk about my growth when I don't really have much to prove. What I'm trying to get at is that I've been growing consistently. I've been growing pretty well on YouTube because YouTube is my main platform that I actually started to see growth on. And um, I just feel like I should be getting over like 5,000 views or 10,000 views, but I'm getting like 2,000 to 1,000 views each time I upload my video. And I always tell myself that numbers are not numbers and statistics are not important like i shouldn't be thinking about that so much but it does make me feel insecure that my views doesn't match up to my subscribers count if that makes sense and so that was another reason why i didn't want to be featured in any podcast it just hasn't been doing me so good i mean i know youtube will always be there in the long run and i just want to be able to match up my view count and my subscriber count up so it can make sense because i see all these other content creators who have like who recently hit 100k but they have like over 20,000 views on their video or like 10,000 views and i'm over here still stuck with a thousand and i always question myself like is it me like is it my thumbnails is it my video style or what is it but um, I always try to be optimistic and imp try to improve my videos better by like switching up the editing or like changing up my thumbnail. But every time I always do something different, I, I don't ever see growth. And I don't like talk about stuff like this just because it does like make me kind of like sad that I'm not seeing the growth that I want, especially in my view count. Like... I'm not too worried about my subscribers count. My watch view has been going up from what I see on my YouTube studio, which does make me happy. 
um, that you know that people are watching my videos longer. But anyways, that is just a little talk that I wanted to add on here. Um, because like I said, I am trying to do a better job of communicating. One of the first years that I think I've opened a lot on YouTube. And I'm proud of myself, you know. Like I always wanted to upload these like aesthetic videos and aesthetic b-rolls and stuff. And let everyone know that I live like this perfect healthy lifestyle which in reality i don't you guys and so i just want to be more transparent and let you guys know that there are some days where filming doesn't go as planned or my days is not as perfect as people make it seem like on youtube because i feel like obviously people put the good highlight clips of their day on youtube just so it's kind of like an escape but i feel like it's I feel like it's always good to be transparent once in a while and, you know, let your viewers know that your life is also not perfect, which I don't think anyone's life is, to be honest. I'm going to finish the rest of this laundry because it seems like it's not going down anytime soon. So, um, that is it for today's video, you guys. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!